Hello and welcome to My Reality Jeep Life with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl, and this is my daily vlog of 2013. Guess what's on the agenda today? Well, I ordered my short shaft kit for my T18. The only thing is, is T18s, I believe, had three different types of top covers. And this one in particular has a little sidekick off of here, so it's not a total rectangle. And inside my short shaft kit, you can notice there's a lot of different gaskets in here. And the one for the top cover is the one that looks like a rectangle. So this whole little side section here has been left out. That's okay, because I have a little tip that will save you some time and a little bit of money instead of sending this back and getting all the new stuff. Okay. At any parts store, you can get this material. This is gasket material, and it comes in a roll. I don't know if you've ever made your own gaskets before, but I'm going to show you how to make a gasket for just about anything. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of the gasket material and I'm going to make sure that it's going to cover all the way on the outside of where I need it to sit. Let's see. I cut a piece earlier and line it up so that you make sure where the gasket needs to sit, it's going to be covered. Okay? And I've used painter's tape to hold it down. Because the next step, you're going to take something that's fairly hard. K-Man likes to use a wooden, a wooden rod. I just picked out the first thing that I found, which was this metal chisel. And what you're going to do is, ha as a kid, did you ever go into cemeteries and take a big piece of paper and some charcoal and find a stone that you think is really cool and put the paper on there? And what did you do? You rubbed it. And then you have the imprint of what you want. Same, same theory applies here. We're going to take our tool and we're going to rub it all right, really hard, right where the bolt holes are, all the way around the whole thing without moving it around because we need a really good pattern. I'm not going to do it because I did it just a few minutes ago. I don't want to over rub. Rub it. Now what you're going to do is you pull it off and you take a pencil and what I've done is you will see with the rubbing the outline of where the indents to your, to your, tran to your transmission are. And all you do is take the pencil and you lightly rub all the way around. And now you actually have, now you actually have the pattern for your gasket. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take scissors and you will cut this gasket out, okay? Don't worry if you cut too far away. You can never have enough gasket material, eh, you know. Just don't cut too less because you can't go back and change it or put it back. After you're done cutting this gasket out, okay, you need to figure out a way, because you can't fit the scissors in there. These little round circles here for your bolts where your bolts go in, I'm going to show you another little sneaky little tip that's going to save your brass. That's right. A little empty uh, bullet shell. <laughs> we'll cut that part out. <laughs> you think? I want to zoom in on it. Hold it up. <laughs> this little empty casing of a bullet shell it's going to save your brass. That's right. It's going to act as our hole punch. How do I know if this little bullet casing is actually going to be the right size? Here's, here's one of my bolts that go in here. And if this casing slides right over, you're golden. That is the correct round size that you need. And I'll show you how we're going to do this. I just use a scrap piece of wood because I don't want to make indents in my brand new table. What I'm going to do is put my little casing Right where my bolt holes need to be. I don't know if you can see.
see this on the video or not, but you have one perfect round hole for your new gasket that you just made in a matter of minute, two minutes. I'm going to cut the rest of this out here and I'll show you what it's going to look like. Now, while some girls were out playing with cutout dolls, guess what I was doing? That's right, one homemade gasket from IT18. Vermont Jeep Girl made. I remember one holiday weekend, K-Man was running around like crazy trying to find the roll of gasket paper. And no auto parts stores were open. We could not locate any kind of gasket material to use. So, came in, dug inside the kitchen cabinets, and came up with a box of his favorite cereal, Cap'n Crunch. Actually used the Cap'n Crunch box, cardboard, to make a gasket for his T18. So there you go. So there you go. If you need a gasket and there's no stores open, or they send you the wrong one in the mail, it's not very hard to make your own gasket. Have a great day, guys, and thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me today on Gasket Making 101. And if you have any questions or comments, write me, vermontjeepgirl at hotmail.com. You can also follow my page on Facebook under The Vermont Jeep Girl. And thank you, and have a good day. Yeah, good.